The UK's first December general election in nearly a century was called by Boris Johnson to end Britain's Brexit crisis. We're going to get Brexit done. Get Brexit done. Get Brexit done now. And yet, despite the PM's powerful get Brexit done catchphrase, whoever wins on December the 12th will face many months of difficult negotiations. Despite his offer of an oven-ready Brexit deal, the Tory manifesto offers no real detail on how Mr Johnson plans to avoid another hard exit next December. All it says is that the Tories will negotiate a trade agreement next year, after the UK leaves the EU at the end of January, and will not extend the implementation period beyond December 2020. The problem is the type of trade deal the Prime Minister wants outside the EU single market and the customs union, and with the freedom to break away from EU standards, will only make it harder and limit the UK's access to key European markets. And by refusing to extend the transition period, Boris Johnson is handing Brussels the upper hand in the upcoming talks. His critics say the timetable would be impossibly tight and could lead Britain towards another Brexit crisis at the end of next year if the UK left the EU without the trade deal. Compared to Boris Johnson's simple message on Brexit, Jeremy Corbyn's is complicated and ambiguous. Labour has a clear plan to get Brexit sorted within six months. In six months? Within six months. In a manifesto dedicated to the party's radical programme of state reform, Labour says it will get Brexit sorted by securing a new deal with the EU within three months and then putting that to a second referendum within six months, offering the public the chance to vote for their new deal or to remain. Labour's proposed deal would keep the UK much closer to the EU through a new customs union, single market alignment and equivalence on workers' and citizens' rights and the environment. What isn't clear is what position the party's leadership would take in the second referendum, although Mr Corbyn says he would be neutral. One of the features of this campaign has been the collapse of support for the Liberal Democrats, the unapologetic party of Remain. Liberal Democrats will be fighting to stop Brexit. Stop Brexit. Stop Brexit. If elected, a long shot to say the least, leader Jo Swinson says she will halt Brexit without a second people's vote. This, she says, would deliver a £50 billion boost to the UK economy by 2025, money which would instead be spent on education and tackling inequality and poverty. But the move to stop Brexit is costing them with voters who see it as undemocratic. Despite this, Joe Swinson could still be the kingmaker if the election ends in a hung parliament, with neither Labour or the Tories able to form a majority government. So far, she has ruled out working with Jeremy Corbyn or Boris Johnson, but she could change her mind if the chance is there to secure a second referendum or a soft Brexit. Whatever happens on the morning of December the 13th, it's hard to see how the vote will get Brexit done.